high cholesterol levels have led to an increase in heart attacks, but modifications to diet may only have a limited impact on cholesterol levels. Excess fat intake in the diet does not always cause coronary occlusion, and even cancer cells might die if the body is devoid of sugar. Niacin, which is nicotinic acid, will address the cholesterol production in the liver directly and mitigate the problem by curtailing the production of cholesterol. One of the benefits of niacin is its ability to reduce levels of fibrinogen in your body. Fibrinogen is one of the factors that affect the development of coronary heart disease. Fibrinogen can cause clots in the arteries which impedes blood flow to the heart, resulting in heart attacks. Niacin has the ability to prevent fibrinogen levels from getting too high. When taking niacin, or vitamin B3, you need to be cautious, unlike with most vitamins and supplements. Speak with your doctor to see if niacin is right for you. When using niacin, you may experience a variety of adverse effects and contraindications. Allergic reactions and possible side effects are arrhythmias, gout, nausea and itching. Therefore, if your bad cholesterol levels are high, you should only take niacin when you need lipid modification. And only after discussing it with your doctor. It's possible to decrease your cholesterol by altering your diet, taking supplements like fish oil and garlic, or exercising regularly. They're also quite effective. There's nothing wrong with them, they're simply slower in effectiveness. It's vital to keep in mind that not all niacin pills are created equal while buying them. Correct dose and active substances are required. Inositol nicotinates, also known as no-flush niacin, are useless and do not decrease cholesterol levels, despite what the labels claim. Niacin, often known as vitamin B3, must be consumed on a daily basis. You can use niacin instead of statins if your bad cholesterol levels are high. If you want to utilize this vitamin to lower your cholesterol levels and indirectly lessen your risk of heart disease, talk to your doctor.